The show that moved into the refurbished New Amsterdam in the fall of 1997 was The Lion King, an adaptation of Disney's most successful animated film. It featured popular songs by Elton John, with lyrics by Tim Rice, and a chorus led by South African composer Lebo M. But the real challenge was how to translate the movie's animated characters to the stage. It is a landscape that people don't think can be put on a stage. It's the animal kingdom. It's an animal parable of life. And yet, I needed to make sure I could keep the human beings present. This was a question in the development of Lion King. Big question in the workshops of, oh, can the audience look at a human face and look at a mask at the same time? Where will they focus? And I'm saying that in the theater, you, you can expect more from your audiences. They know they're in a theater. The audience is not spoon-fed absolute reality, but they come and they finish the sentences with you. You know, you work in television, which I've done a lot, you don't feel a reaction. You read that 62 million people watch this and 50 million people watch that. It's empty and it's sterile. But 1,832 people at this theater going crazy is awesome. One of the best things about The Lion King is that it's not about race and all about race. When white audiences go to see Lion King, they don't think about it. They get the beauty and the, and the talent of these great performers and the music. And yet, if a black audience goes, it's all about race. Because imagine a, a, a young African-American child going and seeing a king who's black. It is about a future where racism won't be an issue at all.